Good afternoon. Okay, so I wanted to say some things because I know that a lot of people are like, well, if you are, I mean, at least I'm thinking, right? If you are seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added on, why are you worried about the things that you need to do? Blah, 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 stuff like that, right? But let me read this to you. Let me read this to you. It's found in Matthew 7. And it starts with 21 and it ends with verse 23, okay? It is read in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them, plainly i never knew you away from me you evil doer okay so this is why i made the first video okay um and obviously you know i want people to get to know me as well and truly get to know me while i'm getting to know me right at this old age of 42 i mean i'm not old i'm young but um so here's my thing it's not by works it's not by works because if it was by works then obviously we would give ourselves the glory right it says it here haven't I prophesied? Haven't I did this, then the other, right? Okay, so then what happens is that because we think that it's the way that we act towards people, which is why, for me, people-pleasing was not something that was fulfilling. I had to literally change my perspective of self and change what I have learned, right? Not only from being at home or from people around me or even from other churches, unfortunately, growing up, right? It's not about you, you know, people pleasing. It's about you obeying God. And the thing is that for a very long time in my life, even though I was thinking that I was obeying God, and yes, I'm not going to say that I was like not a sinner because obviously we sin every single day. We fall short of his glory all the time, okay? But the thing for me was that I wanted to get to know God and have my identity placed in God where my yes was yes and my no was no. Still, I have my yes is yes, you know, and I have my no is no, but I'm still kind of like ah! in certain things, right? So, which is why it's important for us to be able to get to know God within our own selves and get to know ourselves so that we can love our neighbor as God loves us and we love ourselves. And that's very important, which is why in this moment, I'm getting to know me. Okay, and I'm not saying that I'm not doing his work. I'm not saying that I'm not seeking him in his kingdom and his righteousness and doing everything else. I'm not saying that I'm not preaching. I'm not saying that I'm not doing the things that he is telling me to do on a daily basis. I'm just saying that I'm putting boundaries. Even Jesus said no. Even Jesus went off on his own and did what he needed to do by prayer and fasting and all this stuff without the disciples. Okay, and the thing is that I needed to learn that. That's why, you know, um, I want you guys to know this and it's not, you know, and it's fine. If you judge me, it's okay. I, I'm still going to pray for you and still love you. You know what I mean? Um, what haven't we done? What, who haven't we judged in our lives? You know what I mean? If I say that I haven't done it, that's a lie because I have done it before. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm very transparent before, but getting to know me. <laughs> okay. I know that my favorite color is red. I love red. You know, I love the shades white and black. I love rose gold ever since it became a color, right? Some kind of whatever shade, whatever it is, um, right? And I, I don't know, for some reason, my favorite number has always been 13, you know? I lived on 13 Line Street in, in Hamilton, New Jersey. I was 13 when I lived there. Uh, I was 13 when I was able to have my first true love, I guess, little puppy love, whatever, you know? So 13 is associated with a lot of stuff, right? So I like that number and I still hold to those things, okay? Um, but most and foremost, I love God and I've always loved God. I, ne I just, I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know him, know him the way that I'm knowing him now, but I've always known that there was something that I shouldn't have done. I didn't like drinking. I didn't like doing any of those things ever since, and I still don't. I didn't bring that into my life, and I still don't do that, right? I felt very awkward growing up, but like, okay, whatever, you know? Um, I had social anxiety because of those things, you know what I mean? I wanted to fit in, but what I was what I should have been doing was trying to have people fit into God and Christ. And I know that now, right? Which is why I'm, I'm here now and I'm doing these things now. And I, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for this process. I'm grateful for me being able to like not be scared to share it. And if you know what I mean, I'm not at all. Like I don't mind anymore. If people judge me, then they don't judge me anyway. I love you guys and have a blessed day. And that's to me, that's getting to know me part two. Day two.